How the fuck are you, you avocado toast eating, man bun having, patchouli sniffing, yogis? Galactic criminal here. And we got ourselves a special one today, man. A small piece of nostalgia that I didn't even know existed until today. This young man in my local scene was known only as Hardcore Warrior and essentially wound up becoming a sort of monument in the scene, almost like a representation of being punk as fuck and DIY. The guy was at like every single fucking show, didn't matter what it was, fucking front and center, horns up with that fucking Ramones mop just fucking bouncing around. <laughs> I mean, it got to the point where if you went to a show and he wasn't there, kind of disappointed. Also, I'm pretty sure the only guy that I've ever seen be brave enough to go up on stage with a fucking drum machine and a kind of out of tune electric guitar fucking distortion turned right up and just scream his goddamn heart out. <laughs> Albeit it wasn't all that great. <laughs> but everyone just loved him for it. So now talking about him to a friend at work, and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna go on YouTube and see if I can find anything of him, and as it turns out, ho ho ho, there's some gold. I haven't honestly even thought about this guy until now, let alone heard him play in like 15 fucking years, but he's got, <laughs> he's got an official music video, so we're gonna go right ahead and check this shit out. Hardcore Warrior, Fury Beyond Hatred, one, two, <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. This is gonna be so bad.
That was probably the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Igor, eat your heart out. <laughs> I mean, from the fairly vague memories that I have of him telling you it's been at least, at least 14 or 15 fucking years, at least. From those vague memories, this is absolutely everything <laughs> I could have expected and more. I mean, everything about how kind of, kind of awkward, but also very eccentric this guy was, was in, the, was in this video. And I'll tell you, no fucking word of a lie. I saw this guy one time outside of a show lose a fight to a fire hydrant. <laughs> I don't know if he was too drunk or stoned or just had a bad day. <laughs> it was incredible. I got to see him play a couple of times. I, I'm not even sure how he got up on stage. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty honestly like fucking bribe the promoter or the bar or whatever or just said like hey we between bands can I just get up there and, and do something and entertain some people so a couple of times I saw him and man some people some people were laughing you know some people were fucking moshing <laughs> but everyone loved it man that that shit entertained me back then but I'll be honest I can <laughs> I can absolutely appreciate it that much more now <laughs> it's just so good Honestly, just I can't fucking believe I didn't know that there was a music video. I kind of assumed that there'd be something out there that somebody must have uploaded something. And it looks like there are a few videos of them there, but so I'll have to check out those too. But man, this is fantastic. It's kind of funny though, it gets me thinking. I kind of remember at some point he just he stopped coming to shows. He just like up and disappeared. And if memory serves me correctly, the rumors were that his parents owned like a nudist resort and <laughs> they were like moving somewhere else or something like that I, I don't really know <laughs> these fucking memories are popping back up all I know is that shit was fantastic if you do not agree I am man enough to admit that you're wrong <laughs> so what did you think about it I believe the warrior must live on let me know in the comments below. Of course, there will be a link in the description for this video so you go ahead and watch it for yourself, full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.